Alton, followed by Catherine Smith. <clears throat> Good morning. Guy Felton, I am a member of Sheriff Mack's Constitutional Posse. The Posse is part of the Constitutional Sheriffs and Peace Officers Association. Before delivering the comments that I had previously planned for this time, it seems appropriate to clarify one critical element. Free is defined as exempt from external authority, interference, restriction, etc. In its ruling in Times v. Sullivan, 1964, the U.S. Supreme Court went into this amplification, quote, As Americans, we have a profound national commitment to the principle that debate on public issues should be uninhibited, robust, and wide open, and that it may well include vehement, caustic, and sometimes unpleasantly sharp attacks on government and public officials, end quote. As you know, Supreme Court rulings are the law of the land. Note that the Constitution and Times C. Sullivan do not say anything about free speech having to be reasonable in the minds of county commissioners. Framers of the Constitution intended free speech to be a first defense against warped persons within government. There should be absolutely no barriers to exposing persons in government who deserve no public trust and respect. A policy statement on your meeting agenda says this in part, quote, the presiding officer may order the removal of any person whose statement or other conduct disrupts a meeting, and reasonable restrictions may be imposed upon the manner of speech. Personal attacks which antagonize or incite others are examples of speech that may be reasonably limited, end quote. This statement needs to be discussed in depth during a meeting in the near future. Why? Because it is in violation of the United States Constitution and invalidates all business conducted during your meetings. You cannot violate the supreme law and conduct legal business. Your statement is nothing more than a cheap trick to pull an end run around the constitutional right that we Americans have to criticize public officials who invite any perception of being corrupt or stupid. Your statement is nothing more than a form of treason, having willful intent to usurp the sovereignty of we the people. Doing anything to violate the supreme law of the land is not reasonable. Usurping the sovereignty of we the people is not reasonable. Closing thought, Miranda v. Arizona states this in part, quote, where rights secured by the Constitution are involved, there can be no rule making or legislation Next which speaker, would obligate please. them. Next speaker. Catherine.